Hey everybody, Robin Gardy here, Bushwick Real Estate Services. Today we're checking out 10547 Second Avenue Northwest in Seattle's Broadview neighborhood. Uh, this is actually a house and an ADU that are being sold separately. Uh, the ADU looks like it's under contract and we're gonna check out the house part right now. So 1.75 million just gets you the left side here. All right, let's go. All right, as we come in the front door, we've got engineered wood floors, a little landing area here with uh, some cubbies and storage. Uh, lint, uh, sorry, powder room over to the right. So sink and toilet, kind of cool tile in here, super tall ceilings and funky light there. And then over to the left is a study. Um, could be a bedroom if you wanted. Um, and same hardwood floors, stairs to the upstairs, stairs the stairs to the downstairs. And then this opens into the big living area. So really big dining room, nice big windows looking out to the yard. Wainscoting goes up really high. It's almost like seven feet tall. And then kitchens, huge island, nice seating area, cool tile backsplash, uh, recessed in fridge, got a nice size pantry over here. A little bit more unique cabinet with the millwork around the edges. Hidden fan, nice big range, dishwasher, built-in microwave. And then living room, super tall ceilings, gas fireplace. And then this is looking sort of Southwest. We're here at a great time right now because we've got sunset going on. Um, and then it has a really nice indoor outdoor space um, with just lots of, uh, lots of great light and an outdoor fireplace. And again, that's the detached EDU over there. We'll look a little, little closer at it from the upstairs. Um, all right, let's go upstairs and check out the bedrooms. So we're just heading back to the front door and then we're gonna go upstairs. As we come upstairs, we got a big open area here, seating area, hangout space. We'll work our way clockwise throughout. So laundry room over on the left here. So it's got a sink, has hookups for washer and dryer, but no washer and dryer in here. These windows are looking east out on a second avenue. Bedroom one, this is in the southeast corner. Uh, good sized room, super tall ceilings in here, which is nice. Decent sized closet, uh, all carpeted upstairs. And then we've got the hall bath. So it's uh, two sinks in the vanity, linen closet, toilet and shower behind a door. So you can kind of separate those out. Again, there's the big hangout space, bedroom two, similar to bedroom one. This is just looking due south. Uh, decent territorial view out of there. And then this corner looks into the yard. And so we can see the ADU next door. So that shares the wall with this one, has a fenced off area. This gets the yard and then the detached ADU in the back, we'll get a little closer look at in a second here. Coming into the master suite, uh, really big vanity, two sinks, um, soaking tub, this is that south facing window. We're here around sunset, so it's really quite nice right now. Heated floors in here, really big shower with some duct tape holding it together. Um, kind of cool uh, subway tiles, walk-in closet, really good size, some built-in hanging, uh, clothes hanging stuff, and then a separate toilet room here. Uh, the heated floor feels really nice. And then finally into the master bedroom itself. This is really large, huge, huge tall ceilings. A little bit of a view of the Olympics straight ahead and uh, over to the right, we just see the sound and a little bit blocked by the trees, but great light in here. And then this does give us a great opportunity to look at the detached ADU, uh, which looks like it is occupied. Um, and then alley access with the garage parking from back there. All right, that wraps up the upstairs. All right, let's go downstairs. All right, as we get to the basement level, uh, we'll work clockwise through here as well. So over to the left, we've got the mechanical room. So we've got huge, uh, furnace system here and all the ducting. And then it's carpeted just like the rest of the basement. So you could use that as additional storage. Uh, we've got a, do have a separate storage closet here and then a three quarter bath, single vanity, toilet, and then shower and a little tiny transom window up top there. Uh, it is tiled all the way to the ceiling. Another bedroom over here, again, super tall ceiling and really large closet. And then coming back out, there's the stairs we came down. We've got storage underneath the stairs that wraps around the corner. Big kind of hangout media room space here, really tall ceilings. We are sort of below ground, but it feels nice because we've got the light coming in from over there. We've got another seating area for the garage, so landing zone. Kind of the cubbies are a little, not as nice as upstairs down here, but we've got some hooks and storage. And then uh, an oversized one car garage off the alley here. So we've got a man door and then a car door, and it doesn't go that much further back but it does have a 220 outlet so you can plug a car in and store bikes and all that stuff. All right, that wraps it up.